What is up Instagram Fit Fam Fresh Fam how's everyone doing? I hope you all having an amazing Sunday. Such a pretty day outside over here. Have a look. Sydney is legit been killing it in terms of the weather and the way it looks in the daytime. And that's what I like about the winter, the sun in the background, but still there's a little bit of chilliness with just about the right weather. I'm going to be going out for a quick grocery haul because Sunday is normally the day where we go and buy our food for games, right? So what we want to do is... I really want to walk you guys through a grocery haul review. Now, some of the stuff I might actually have at home, so I might not be able to include, but once I'm done with the grocery, I'll bring them back home and I'll show you guys um, pretty much what I would buy when I'm on deep into a cut. So it's been about four weeks I'm into a cut. And the reason I'm making this video is it's Ramadan number one, number two, holding myself accountable for basically putting anything out there. Short videos on Instagram and I'd make like a bunch of stuff or like what do I eat and stuff. But I was like it would be a good overall review if I actually walk into a grocery store, show you guys the stuff that I buy and we'll have a quick like walk down video on a Sunday afternoon. Something that is more chill and different to um, the normal stuff of content do I make. So stay tuned, it should be good. Walk go to Aldi first because we're all about that cheap life. Like at the end of the day, um, I'm in between jobs at the moment and uh, I personally do not like to spend too much on my groceries. So I have more money saved in to go out with my friends or eat food out or buy myself something nice by the end of the month. That's usually the technique that I use. And further ado say, let's go get on with it. If you guys know, laws in Australia are like super freaking strict. I'm pretty sure they're everywhere pretty strict, but in Sydney, they're just a little extra because the, the worst amount of people that live in here, they need to know how Sydney works. So I'm one of them actually, I'm not from this country. Um, pretty much like I live right opposite to the mall, but the reason I like driving there because I really can't be bothered walking with my groceries. So just stay tuned, it should be good. I am gonna vlog every single thing about this and yeah, let's do it. First one ever. It's Sunday, so struggling for parking. I'm pretty not surprised. The playing on Bordure. Bordure. from a different supermarket because you know guess what um aldi supermarkets need two dollars for a trolley and i don't have a single dollar coin in my pocket so i usually don't like keeping cash on me but let's get on with the groceries bubble gum everyone wants to protein brother i used to get so much of these from aldi they're like five bucks or five super cheap when you're like actually trying to I don't know, just have a little bit of munch around, but to be honest, like at the moment, so deep into a cut, I try to avoid them because personally, if you look at the macros, they're only about 8-9% grams of fat, 14 grams of 
um, cars, but the only thing I want you to look at is just really that the carbs are coming from basically just sugar. So a big no-no when I'm deep into my cut, but definitely if you're in a bulk or in surplus, not a problem. The jerky, I really like them, they're halal, and as well as like a perfect snack to munch on, so I'll put them on. Tuna. Tuna is my definitely best friend, but just want to let you guys know that one thing you want to know that when you're trying to chop cheap as well as you want to cut, you want the highest amount of protein and the lowest amount of money you spent, right? So buy the foods in bulk. Like that's the biggest thing I would say. The big can in general, you will get one of oil, one of spring water. Really helps me easily to cook them down and swear to God. Taste wise, you can just add in your own spice, get a little creative. But this is only at the time when you're trying to save money to get one of this. But just to let you guys know, this is an absolute game changer. If you know what's going in you in terms of oil wise, it, this is like the biggest thing that has made change in my life. Quit the dipping tools, quit the bottles, get on the spray. Some kernels. Large cage eggs or cage free eggs, doesn't matter. One of the easiest micronutrients you can get out there. If you hate your wedges and like you don't even go for the frozen one, I definitely have something adopted like you need lettuce and I feel like it is definitely one of that top go-to lists. Get on. And this is the Guru's biggest secret recipe. Plain yogurt with high protein, super low in fat. You only get this one in Aldi, but there are many other alternatives you can get around in Woolworths. Um, but just make sure the main catchers get in a low fat because yogurt is definitely one of the things that can help add them up into smoothies and so many more things. Actually, we have two at home, so we might leave one and just have one of them here. love these to be honest but I will not take them because legit, each one of them is like 50 grams of carbs which is like absolutely crazy but they're super tasty they go amazing with salmon and some eggs in the morning and some butter which is like heavy but not for now so if you're always on a go-to and you just really want to get them wedges in like I mentioned before frozen ones I do not highly recommend them but I do recommend because they are definitely gonna help you with that micronutrient level as well as just get them wedges in and these are only lazy people aka sometimes me but I definitely like to like I said we bought some wedges over here there's some at home but frozen wedges do always help out as well whenever you're in a bit of rush you throw them in the microwave for like a couple of minutes and that's it's done uh, we did a quick swap over instead of these we went to this winter vegetable this winter here I guess <laughs> That's why you never come back into an hour once, once you pass it through. Came across these and I really feel like they'll go really good with that yogurt snack, so definitely gonna jump on that, give it a try and let you guys know how that is. Um, tuna cans, like always best for go-to's as well, even though even I said that, go for the big ones for cheaper, but the small ones always help when you're in a bit of a rush. Thank you very much. That's okay, cool. Hello, how are you? One, two kilos. Yeah, please. Thank you. Chicken is something that I would actually come and buy from them because usually they're more on a cheaper price rather than going into a supermarket. And yeah. Yeah, perfect. Don't worry. It's more cheaper over here normally. Look 
shopping. Let's get back home, put everything down on the table and just walk you guys through the ingredients a little bit. Like I was talking or trying to talk instant more or like when I was shopping around, but there's a bunch of people and it's Sunday, which is totally normal. But I'm still a little weird in holding a whole camera in front of me and talking in front of public. Like when I have the iPhone, it's a bit easier, but like when I have the actual camera, it's like everyone's like, like you know the zoom in moment. Anyway, let's get on with it. And we are back home. Now, time is to go and get our stuff out there and put it in the fridge. I'm not gonna actually go into marinating and like actually sorting out all my meals and stuff for now. I am fasting and I'm not gonna lie to you, like I am thirsty, I'm hungry, and I'm craving donuts. <laughs> Yeah, this is the stuff that you get through when you're in Ramadan. I feel like right timings where you're about to open up. So we're about, I think, what, two hours? Yep, two hours away. And even though I have not done much of work throughout the day, it's a Sunday, I had a chill one. I just sorted out much of my content break, did a little bit of like email and uh, sorting out my fitness plans and stuff but other than that I've not really got up too much today but I really feel really thirsty I think water is like the only thing I struggle with personally it's not only being on a cut as generally a person who drinks a lot of water during the day I feel like it's such an important part of my life and it should be for you as well like all right pretty people we're back in home and I've got everything set up to just quickly walk you guys over what the hell we were doing in the grocery store what did we get now this is something that is according to my diet at the moment as well as like what I would buy like the daily food actually buy on a very consistent basis now there might be a couple of items here and there that you will see that I don't go for them every week and it's really according to what situation I'm in what type of mood I'm onto it tuna I already talked about this best way to get your protein levels in now a lot of people ask me don't you get sick of chicken breast which is there two kilograms of course I do I'm human as well that's why I keep trying multiple different things on the side there's beef there is um, salmon um, there is fish right now now this is definitely a cheaper option um, that's why I picked it up it's like for 10 bucks you get about 20 fillets or something um, if you usually go out and buy guy just outright salmon I swear to God you better off just buying gold because it's that expensive like occasionally it's okay I had fish in my diet for about three weeks and I really feel like that I was craving it so I just went for that um, tuna like I said get the big ones so easier to cook that gives you about two to three or four servings at a time even and these ones are a perfect go-to I gave you the hack that if you get the flavored ones they're absolutely fine to eat they are processed but just to know that the flavored ones of course comes with a higher amount of fat so if let's say you have a bigger appetite or something right and you want to go through like a couple or maybe three of these at a time I'm not sure like whatever your appetite I'm not going you might end up eating a lot of amount of like protein but at the same time there will be a wasteful amount of fats in there and like I said this is processed so I would only prefer you to maybe throw it over a pack of noodles have it with a toast somewhere where you're in a rush and you still want to hit that protein level or you just want to add on to something but not completely relying on this um olive oil spray can the biggest saver of my life I swear to God when I was pouring oil into my pan every time I used to eat there's nothing wrong with it the food is tasty everything we have seen growing up as a parky kid we live in oil <laughs> legit everything is this dent and made with fried oil stuff which is amazing but if you want to cut and you want to do things right you really need to find the hacks around and this is the definitely the top one for me so corns really like um, a, a quick and easy way for myself um, to quickly get like vegetables in uh, micronutrients to be honest like why do I get the big can I can always chuck them over beef or something uh, such as salads and uh, yeah they give me like a few savings rather than getting a tiny box which is super dear as well apples and stuff I didn't you guys didn't see me going for that whole but I already had them at home have a very small portion or even like a quarter portion of fruits um, potatoes 
best form of carbs like really does not matter you go sweet potatoes white potatoes i've said this before a million times go with what you need what you crave and what you can afford like not what anyone else is doing you don't know what their lifestyle is what their budgets are you need to work with what your budget is what your lifestyle is and this one at the moment is definitely my cravings i'm sick and tired of eating sweet potatoes so i'm jumping these yogurt like i said goes with berries Go, you can eat it like that you just put frozen berries in there and that's like 17 and a half grams of protein per serving the only hack over here i told you this any store you go in low fat yogurt you can go for full fat ones if you're bulking if you're a really skinny guy trying to bulk maybe a different story but i'm a guy who's not fat right now who's trying to get like some insane amount of shred levels and i'm putting myself through some really hard time so i need to make sure that every single bit that i put in as an effort counts so calories for me are really important i'm not gonna lie to you it is about that life right now so this one works perfectly for me um eggs of course I would normally go to a big Flemington market. It's like a full fresh market which goes on weekends and they have like eight trays. The whole thing is like eight rows. You definitely do not recommend just going off if you're going to be consuming a lot of eggs every time to go back to 12 pack. Maybe try to find a cheaper alternative. But for now, this will do. Coke Zero, legit sugar cravings. That's all it is. I would not recommend this at all but i do it because yeah a cup every now and then does not kill me mushrooms best to go with like omelets um you can put them on any sort of meals if you're a huge fan i really just like some melted freaking cheese with some scrambled eggs and some mushrooms i'm a cr I, I i crave stuff like this every morning and like stuff there where i'm intermittent fasting or i'm fasting or where i want to make myself breakfast i don't have time i crave stuff like this because you know what you'll go to a restaurant or a place to actually buy yourself this kind of meal it'll cost you like 20 to 30 bucks and they'll give you some fried ass mushrooms on the side which will not even make sense so for me these are like things that i kill my cravings through like if i'm really craving something like a huge ass meal especially through the dents of my cut I would give myself time to actually cook something very similar at home and actually kill them cravings because that's all it's about right now like at this part of my cut and so deep in I really need to make sure I don't fuck up or I don't make any mistakes I don't go out there and have like a huge binge because it's gonna cost me a lot and when I mean by cost is not only money it's time it's effort it's sweat it's all of it lettuce swear to god the best form of micronutrient i am not the best in getting my veggies in you can probably tell frozen veggies in the house so bing bing but the reason i'm telling lettuce legit throw some peppercorn throw some salt on there throw some light mayo and that's it oh even if you're a little bit if you're a little bit of a weird guy like me i would sometimes even like when i'm like not able to have enough veggies in during the day i would just go in and when nobody's watching i'll be like <laughs> Yeah, that was a bit weird. I shouldn't be it. And the only new piece of item I've tried over here is this peach slices and juice. I'm gonna let you know. My brain says these two will go as a good combo. Can't wait to show you guys what the final product comes look like. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's the total grocery haul review, guys. Like this whole thing cost me about 40 to 50 dollars in total. 50 dollars this thing cost me, and then the meat itself cost me about 15 dollars overall. Um, that chicken place was really cheap so it helps me save money but your budget on a cut on 40 um, 45 to 65 dollars is really really good this is just for weekly so imagine the amount of money you'll be saving of course you will know what's going in your tummy and as well as you'll be getting them good dense fruitful food in your body look pretty um, live pretty and yeah overall it's gonna just do so many benefits and that's it that's pretty much it like that's what the grocery haul looks like for the lava kind like i am like three and a half of almost four weeks into my cut right now overall you find it interesting something you want me to do again find insightful and um, i'm definitely trying to transform my instagram channel to more towards my youtube i have practiced it over the few months but i feel like there's a lot in me that still needs to improve and i feel like 
that's like everyone there needs to improve and I feel like that's like everyone there the, they're not they're, they're, you're never the best critique of your own self so that's why I'm putting it out there for you guys to judge on as well as I just wanted to put out this informative content overall for you guys because I do get abundance of questions all the time what do I eat and I feel like it would have been a good walk over and a good way to spend my Sunday as well but some of you might find this food really boring or be like this is so dry or like so out of life and that's totally fine like if it's something that doesn't suit you or you're not mentally ready to accept in your life i feel like you shouldn't be starting you shouldn't be regretting um and the reason i say it if you would have asked me this question about two to three years ago i would have probably laughed at this as well i would have never imagined myself this but there was there was a point in my life where it came in and I really did not like the way I look, I really did not like the way I trained, I really did not like the way I progressed in life overall. So I just had to make a change. So this is me telling you that if you're a person who's mentally and physically not happy with themselves, monetary, I would say it's a really personal topic so I don't want to touch. Um, everyone has their own circumstances but physically and mentally these are the two things that are completely in your control so if you find yourself anywhere remotely off or like you feel like you're just not happy or you're just not doing well in life you have full control of your, your mental capacity and physical capacity how you can improve them your physical improvement your mental is legit by the small steps you take. I have never been taught anything by anyone other than people who are in YouTube, people who are, I write articles, fitness bloggers. I taught myself everything because I was fascinated by the discipline that these people have. I was fascinated by the life perspective they had and I was fascinated by that they was very average people making some extraordinary changes. And what does it take to be like them? And not only like them, but be the best version of myself. I would put it out there. So yeah, doing all this, like I, like I said, this diet might not be the best for you, but at this point in time, this is what I'm doing and it's working for me to lose the optimal amount of fat. Like I said, I'm going in Ramadan right now. It's my fourth week in and I've been doing this for about a year and a half. And it's finally the time of the year that I've been able to come in and sit into one place and completely follow one fitness plan all the way through. Like last year, I tried to do this. I went really well, but then I had a couple of things coming in and I had to leave. I had to go back to Pakistan. I do have a lot of fluctuations in terms of my food wise. Like if you live with the Paki family, you know that what are the real challenges that you have to go through, right? All them samosas, the food, the amazing stuff. But like I said, if you're not happy physically or mentally in your life, you are the only person who can make that change and no one else. Something that I've practiced, something that I preach. <laughs> So let me know if you guys like it. Leave your comments through. Subscribe to the channel. Your boy is just coming out to the YouTube family. Finally. <laughs> and uh, I would love to hear your opinions on all these videos. Like I said, I would love to hear what you guys want to watch as well. And uh, yeah, just keep looking fresh. <laughs>